All right, Hockey Barn, I'm standing here feeling a little intimidated right now because, I mean, I got Ray wrapping the knees and I, and I got Belanger saying, hey, Kenny Belanger saying, look at that bucket. I'm going to just tear that right off and start dropping bombs. So, and I'm getting the meanest look from Rob Ray right now. I'm just listening. Just oh, listening just, just listening to me chat, eh? Yeah. Now, now you guys, you know, you went out on the ice. You, you weren't afraid to mix it up a little bit. Any kind of chirps that would ever, you know, say, all right, that's it. It's time to go. Uh, no, just part of the game, I guess. Timing, score of the game. No really uh, intentional intimidating chirps. Yeah, and not a guy with a you know bucket water in our own arena that makes Shay you know getting the blood boiling a little bit. Well, I mean, I think if I seen you in the ice, it might be a different story with the bucket and the hair. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you fight guys just to put them out of their misery. Who says I'm miserable? No, I'm, I'm not saying you're miserable. <laughs> I'm saying, uh, you look at some guys and you want to do them a favor of you know. Are, are we insinuating something no, here? Right? I'm just no, I'm, her. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Ask a question. Now, I, now I do have a very interesting question, and, and hockey barn tries to kind of do things a little different. What? You know, back in the day, you know, Rick Jenneret, he's yes. still doing the commentary and everything. Were you ever envious of the fact that it was Ray or not Ray Day, but rather May, May Day? Day? Not really. Uh, I never really had the skill that Brad had. So I never really had the opportunity to be in that situation that Brad had. Do you ever, though, go in your mind, I mean, Ray Day instead of May Day? No, because you know what? I benefited from that. You know, and that made Brad an awful lot of money, that goal. Yeah? And Brad was a good guy that he, uh, he looked after his friends. Yeah? So I, I did benefit from it, even though it wasn't me. No, I mean, like I said, two of you guys, not afraid to mix up. Was there ever any time where you looked and you're like, I know it's my job, but I felt a little intimidated by one of the guys out on the ice. Was there ever any one guy that's like, I know I got to do it. The guys, the guy, the guys are like, I'm, like, I'm kind of alluding to Proby almost, but you know, any guys like that for you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you you got to respect every guy you're going up against, you know. So for me, I respected everyone that I went on the ice against. Uh, the day you let your guard and disrespect guys is the day, you know, it's game over. So for me, I respected everyone. Yeah, I, I think if you didn't go into it half afraid and wondering, you know, not being cocky, that uh, that's when you got in trouble. So, I, you know, I believe from the, the first fight you get into the last fight you get in, you, you approach whoever you're going against like, oh, my God, how am I going to do this? And, and this guy could possibly, you know, hurt me in some way. So you, you fought with fear, and I think that's what helped. Now, not, changing gears just a little bit, we're driving standard, not automatic. I don't like cruise control that way. Okay. Fair enough. I got. I got to ask you guys something here. You know, you've been in your shared dressing room atmospheres. Any player you looked at, maybe during the playoffs or even the regular season, where you looked at and you went, "What the hell is that guy doing? What kind of ritual is that?" No ritual. I looked at certain individuals. A guy like Miro Satan, like, "What the hell are you doing?" Because you know you're part of the team and you're supposed to be doing something and you're not. But uh, no, not not rituals. I found Daryl Shannon in the sauna one time with the sauna on. This is PG-13, right? Okay. All his equipment just sitting there before a game, and I'm like, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just getting ready. I don't know. I still haven't figured it out. He still doesn't have an answer for it. So should I track you two down today right. and just figure this whole thing out, get down to the bottom of it, you know, get down to the bottom of it all? You know, he's a little strange, but uh, I, I still, I don't even think he had an answer for me. He was just kind of in a zone. And how about you, Kenny? Any, anything where you looked at the guy and just go like, dude, come on. This, this just ain't cool. I might have to straighten you out. No, I don't. Everyone's individual, and I never really paid attention to too many stupid things guys have done. So. Any guys come up to you and go, Kenny, what are you, what are you doing, man? Uh, no. No? Nothing at all? Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish this off. It's a very important one. I mean, I'm assuming you guys, I know you're definitely following what's happening in the playoffs right now because, I mean, you, you got your mug on the camera, yeah. not just our camera, and, and I'm hoping you're watching the playoffs Absolutely. too. Absolutely. If you guys had to ring off a few names, if you had guys that you had to send out onto the ice, 2D, three forwards, and obviously your keeper, who would you send out that would be making the difference? The five guys that you know, ultimate lineup. Uh, oh, I, I, I absolutely Jerome McGinley. Uh, I would like to think that Joe Thornton with Jerome McGinley would be, I don't know. Uh, who else up front? Uh, Mark Savard maybe. He's Mark having Savard. a hell of a playoff. Yeah, 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 he's doing all right. Um, who else? I'd have to have Chara and Lidstrom on the back end. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, Lundquist right now in net, he's, yeah, he's phenomenal. Uh, but not Luongo? 
No, I, I no, I, I would have to think a little longer. He might not make the series. Yeah. He looks like he's banged up a little bit, and I'm afraid that he might not make it through. Ooh, little inside scoop there. So you're you're also banging on King Hank, eh? Well, I mean, he's he's played well all year. I think the Rangers have been a sleeper team. They've been terrible. Now they're coming out of their woodwork where they've been their ability. So I don't I don't think it's a surprise. But yeah, right now he's he's been challenged more. I guess Longo hasn't had. Been tested as much, I guess, for the first round. Hey, when uh, you shut down a Vetchkin to uh, one goal in what four or five games now, you're doing a pretty good job. So I'd like to think. I mean, this is King Hank after all. This is like one of the cream of the crop, you know, talking Marty Broder territory, right? Yeah, but I think Marty's got a little different team in front of him too. They're a little more experienced. Uh, you know, the veteran team plays a little different style in front of him. You know, Hendricks left out there to dry a little more.